Hey everyone, Justin here from the Bill Coors Wellness Center. Coming back at you with another workout of the day. Um, for today's workout, all you're gonna need is a bed sheet. Uh, we're gonna use this bed sheet to accomplish some pulling movements. This entire workout is primarily composed of movements that are gonna work all the muscles on the back side of the body. So that's back, glutes, hamstrings. We're gonna also work some core in as well. Um, so having said that, let's go ahead and get your bed sheet set up right. All you're gonna do is take it, take the end, tie a knot in it, and I know what you're thinking. Justin, is this knot gonna be able to be undone? And yes, it will. I've already tested this a couple times. The knot will not uh, get so tight that you won't be able to undo it. So no worries there. Once you've got a knot in it, all you're gonna do is find a doorway in your house and you're going to drape the knot over and then close the door. Uh, make sure you hear it close. And uh, then give it a little tug to kind of cinch that knot a little bit. You can kind of hear mine pulling and then I get to a point where it's nice and solid. Um, and then from here, we're running three exercises in a superset. So you're gonna do exercise A, rest 30 seconds, exercise B, rest 30 seconds, exercise C, rest 30 seconds, maybe even a minute before you roll back through and do three sets. So let me show you the first superset. The first move is gonna be a row using this. So obviously the further away I am, as far as my hands on the sheet, the more body weight I'm gonna be putting behind myself and the harder it's gonna be. So start up a little higher, and then all we're doing is we're going elbows close to the body, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Don't shrug your shoulders, keep them down. And we're doing eight to 12 reps, nice, slow, and controlled with a big squeeze at the top, and then control it on the way down. Once we've got eight here, or, or anywhere between eight to 12, we're just looking for a challenging number. Um, it could be even more than 12. Um, you wanna keep at least one to two reps in the tank though. Once you've got that done, then you're gonna move to a uh, movement with just um, body weight essentially. Um, so we're gonna actually take the, we're actually gonna take the sheet from behind the door and then using just the sheet in our body weight, we're going to step on it about hip width apart. Make sure you've got each tail um, with enough space for you to grab it by your knees. And then we're going to do an isometric, which means our muscles are not changing length, deadlift. So basically what I'm doing is I'm squeezing underneath my armpits, I'm pulling this as hard as I can against my feet, and then I'm keeping a straight line from my hips all the way to the top of my head. I'm gonna pull as hard as I can. Obviously, if this wasn't immovable, I would actually be doing a deadlift, but I'm gonna hold this for 20 to 30 seconds, making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath. So you're here. Notice I've got a soft bend in my knees. My back is flat and my hips are driven back as far as I can get them. Once I finish that isometric deadlift, I'm gonna get rid of the sheet. And then I'm just gonna do a long lever plank. So this is a variation on a front plank. So you're gonna squeeze your glutes, tighten your core, and then I'm going to just move my feet away from me to make myself as long as possible. Don't go too far. I wanna be able to keep that tightness here in the core and not let my back take over. So I'm gonna hold here for 30 seconds, making sure to breathe. And obviously, if you're getting enough challenge in just a normal high front plank, by all means, just stay there. And then those are your three exercises for this first superset. So run those through three different times, taking about a minute between. And then once you've got that done, you are going to grab your sheet once again. We're going to put it back on the door. Again. Make sure you hear it close. Pull it to make sure it's nice and tight. Got a little more with mine. There we go. All right, so now it's nice and tight. Our next superset, our first exercise is a single arm rear delt fly. So this is gonna be working the rhomboids between the shoulder blades as well as the rear delt. 
And it's also going to be getting a little bit of core too. Um, and I'll tell you why in just a second when I show you. So basically, start up a little higher than you were with the row. And then we are going to, with a soft elbow, pull <clears throat> behind us, driving that elbow back. There's not a whole lot of range of motion here, but the thing to keep in mind is that I'm not rowing with it. I got a soft elbow and I'm pulling with a relatively straight arm. In addition to that, I need to squeeze my glutes and keep my core tight because when I go to pull, my body wants to rotate with this. I want to stay as square as I can. So I'm doing again, eight to 12 here. Notice how I'm going slow and controlled. Slight bend in the elbow, and then of course I'll switch sides, do the other arm, squeezing the glutes, keeping the core tight. Once I've got eight to 12 on this side, saving one or two reps in the tank, I'm done with that, I can get rid of it. And then I'm going down to the floor. If you have tile, you could use that. Carpet works just fine as well, if you've got socks on. And we're gonna do, eight to 12, again, hamstring curls. So we're here. Now, if you find it hard to get back from here, I can do one at a time. So I'm going really slow on the way out, squeezing the glutes. If I can, I'm gonna pull back up like this. But if I can't, I can do, I can put my hips down and then come back to the start and only work this lengthening motion. So figure out what works best for you and gives you that challenge for eight to 12 reps. And then once you finish that, you're gonna grab your sheet one more time and we are going to sit down with it, grab it on either end about shoulder width apart. Let me double mine up here. About shoulder width apart and I'm pulling and then I'm gonna hover my legs if I wanna make it harder. If I wanna make it easier, I can put them down. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate my torso side to side while pulling apart. And I'm gonna tap on either side for this Russian twist. 12 on each side. So those are your three exercises for superset number two. Again, you'll take about 30 seconds between each exercise, and then 60 seconds up to two minutes between sets. Once you finish three sets with superset number two, you are done. And so give yourself a good pat on the back and then uh, check us out next uh, uh, tomorrow and next week for more workout of the days. Thanks.